Hello from Melbourne to the Marine Airport and welcome watching another Skystream Flights video. Today I'm flying Qantas QF29 Economy Class to Hong Kong. I just got off from my flight from Adelaide which is delayed for quite a bit. Fortunately, I made it to the QF29 boarding gate just in time. Our boarding gate is gate 10. The view of our plane from the boarding gate is not so great. Our plane is an Airbus A330-300. Soon, it's boarding time. My seat is 24K, which is a bulkhead seat. Economy class is arranged in the 242 configuration and each seat is 17.5 inches wide. Checking out the seat features, there's an adjustable headrest, blanket, pillow, and headphones. Not much legroom. Seat width is fine. In the seat pocket, there's a safety card, travel sickness bag, and magazines. In the left armrest, there is a mini remote for the in-flight entertainment system. The in-flight entertainment screen is stored under the armrest. Above my head are aircon outlets. The recline button is in the right armrest. Welcome to you all aboard this morning's flight to Hong Kong. We are ready to go. The bags are all loaded, we're just waiting on some engineering paperwork to be finalised. That should take uh, hopefully no more than a few minutes. Uh, they're actually just checking the tyre pressures and uh, once that's done it has to be written up. Then, uh, then we're ready to go taking off to the north. It's going to be a little bit bumpy out of here, a strong northerly wind. Uh, once we're uh, up and away we'll turn the seatbelt sign off. That'll mean that if necessary you may move around the cabin. We do however recommend that you remain seated with your seatbelts at least comfortably fastened just in case you some unexpected turbulence. We're expecting to have you disembarking from the aeroplane in Hong Kong probably about 20 minutes earlier than schedule, so hopefully 5 p.m. local time. The time in Hong Kong now is just coming up 8 o'clock in the morning. Weather conditions uh, for our arrival are forecast to be fine. Uh, might be a little bit overcast and uh, temperature hovering around 30 degrees Celsius. We'll give you a little update of the arrival time just uh, prior to the descent into Hong Kong, but in the meantime, please uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy our fabulous in flight service. One thing that's not so good about the bulkhead seats is that you cannot use the in-flight entertainment system during takeoff. There's a lot of traffic in Melbourne today. We've 
been waiting for takeoff for a very long time. As we're waiting, please take a few seconds to hit the subscribe and notifications button so you won't miss any of my new videos. Ten years later, it's finally our turn. After takeoff, a bottle of water is given. Food menu is then passed. Time to check out the in-flight entertainment system. This in-flight entertainment system is very user-friendly. Everything is neatly organized. There are tons of movies and music available that you won't be bored. For the in-flight map, information is neatly presented on the left with the 2D map on the right. Next to the map are playlists and notifications. Soon it's time for lunch. My choice is spicy mushroom hot pot with jasmine rice. The main dish is very delicious. For dessert, I have some very sweet mousse. As for drinks, I had some ginger beer. After my meal, it's time to check out the toilet. It's really great that this toilet is very clean. Cabin lights are dimmed so people can have some rest. For me, it's time to sleep. 
I wake up to the mid-flight snack service, which is a passion fruit and coconut ice cream bar. As we're nearing Hong Kong, the second meal is served. I'm having pumpkin tart. This is the only option available for the second meal. The tart tastes average, it's a bit dry. Once again, I'm having ginger beer for drinks. Time in Hong Kong now, it's just coming up 10 minutes past 5 o'clock. Uh, Despite our best efforts, uh, looks like we're going to be late. Uh, we're expecting now to have you disembarking from the aeroplane at about uh, 6 30 pm local time. With the conditions there at the moment, it's a beautiful day. Um, it's a fine temperature of uh, 31 degrees Celsius and uh, no cloud or showers, which is nice. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we appreciate your business. Time to sum up this flight. Despite the delay in Melbourne, the impressive pilots managed to make up a lot of time. For this bulkhead seat, I found the legroom relatively limited. However, I absolutely enjoyed the view of the engine. I really enjoyed using the in-flight entertainment system. It'd be better if the in-flight map is updated to a 3D one. For meals, the first meal was excellent, however, it'd be better if there are more choices for the second meal. Cabin crew did a very good job in serving passengers, and overall it's a decent flight. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.